How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be doing something pretty simple and it's just going to be login loot. I didn't have a lot of time to prepare a really awesome video for you guys so I thought why not just do something kind of simple but still kind of complex at the same time um, and that's going to be login loot. So basically what's going to happen is every time the player logs in they will get a random loot that you can set in a config. Now I've pre-set up a couple things here um, just to speed up the time. I did make it a separate plugin um, and all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub so go over there to check it out. But yeah so you can make this so it keeps track of uh, every day and uh, you know every time that the player gets on um, so that way they're not getting it a hundred times a day, just logging in, out, and out, and out, and out. So uh, that's how you can check. You can do that with this system current time. Not going to do that right now just because uh, for time's sake and so I can get a video up for you guys. Uh, but if you guys would like me to look into that a little bit more, I can certainly do that for the next episode. But for right now, uh, what you're going to do is set up your a, a plugin or you can use whatever plugin you're using. You're going to make a list in the config here. Um, make sure you're doing exactly how, it doesn't have to be exactly how, it doesn't have to be all uppercase, but make sure you're writing exactly how it is in Minecraft, because um, we don't want, um, well basically we don't want it to double over, right? And, or not double over, we don't want it to get messed up, so we just have to name it exactly how it is in Minecraft, well in Bucket. So first things first, we're just going to go ahead and make our public void on enable, it's pretty obvious here. And we're also going to make a load config. And then we will go ahead and create the method. Okay, and this is just going to be loading our config here. So we're just going to get config. And we're just going to, sorry, we're going to go options. And we are going to copy defaults true. And then we're just going to go ahead and save the config. All right, easy peasy. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do in our on enable is we're also going to go ahead and say this dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events, and it's just going to be this comma this, and we're just going to implement listeners on this class here. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to make our event handler and then we're going to make our on join. So player join event event. And now you can make this a player interact event. You could actually have, um, I'll just go here real quick. It's going to give me an item. Don't worry about that. You can actually go ahead and make a loot chest on here that has a custom name of loot chest. So you could search through the world and find you know all the chests that contain or that have the name loot chest and you could do this um, whenever the player interacts with it or something like that however you want to do it really so in this on join we're just going to say set up chest or uh, not set up chest set up loot and we will go ahead and create this method and now in this this is where it kind of gets a little bit uh, confusing here we're gonna say list we need to make a list of all of the items that are on our config list makes sense so we're gonna have a list of strings we're just gonna call this config items just to make it easier for us and we're gonna say equals this dot get config dot get string list and it's just items that's all we named it in our config there okay Next, we need to sort through all of these. We're going to say int index equals a new random. That's not random, right? New random dot next int. There we go. That's why I couldn't do it. And we're just going to say config items dot size. And what this is doing is it's just getting us a random integer 
from our town fic here. Now, why did that do that? Ah, okay, I see. There we go. And then what we have to do is we have to say string items equals config items dot get and then we're gonna get this index value that is right there so we're just, just gonna pull one of those random uh, items from the config then what we have to do is we have to create a new item stack for this item because technically it's not an item yet so we're just gonna say item stack new item equals new item stack and this is going to be material dot get material and we're going to use the string name and we're just going to go ahead and say items dot to uppercase because all items are all materials are in uppercase and we're good there we'll go ahead and import item stack and then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to say player dot get inventory dot add item and we're going to go ahead and add a new item. And I realize that I don't have a player value yet. That's okay, because we're going to go ahead and say player, player. We'll import player. And then we'll go ahead and say player, player equals event dot get player. And we will go ahead and just pop player in right there. Let's go ahead and export this. Let's reload here. And so now what we do have here is we have the option to get a diamond, a stone, a gravel, a gold ingot, or an iron ingot whenever we log in. You can of course change this to whatever you want, like if you have custom items, uh, say, okay, so let me just clear my inventory there just so we can see what's happening here. So as you can see there, I got stone that time. I got stone again. I got gravel. I got diamond. So you can totally set this for custom items. Say you have maybe, um, maybe you want to do as a random amount of experience every time you join the server for the first time uh, of the day or something, or you want a certain number of experience for every time that a player, um, you know, clicks this certain block every every day. You can easily do this with this system here, because now that you know how to get the list and how to sort through the list, um, it's pretty much the same thing with integers and or integers. Strings or integers, not integers and or integers. Strings or integers. So thank you all so much for watching. Sorry that this video is kind of really fast and a little bit rushed, um, but I hope you guys will use this method here to make some really awesome things here. Like I could actually go ahead and do something there with that. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on how to basically create this sort of loot system that I have here, or login loot, or chest loot, uh, be sure to leave a comment below and uh, join my Discord and give me some feedback there as well. And thank you so much for watching.